this feels super strange, but welcome guys. My name's Ash, and for those of you who don't know me from my podcast, I'm a final year medical student, and I've always wanted to create a YouTube channel, honestly. If you ask any of my best friends from, like, year 10, I used to have a list on my phone of, like, video ideas that I was convinced I was going to make, and I, I remember sitting down one time, stacking my phone up on a couple of books, and hitting that record button, and then just looking back at the video thinking, this is crap, and then deleting it, and then never again have I indulged in the idea that I would start a YouTube channel and create some videos. For those of you who don't know, I have a health entrepreneurship podcast where I chat to industry leaders, big CEO, big founders, big thought leaders in the space, just about the future of healthcare and how we can inspire the next generation of clinicians beyond tomorrow. This channel is going to be very much related to that, but putting my own twist on it, putting my own personality into this. So yeah, it'll be a good opportunity for you guys to get to know my personality a bit better. Hopefully you don't get annoyed at me and then just stop listening to my podcast altogether. That is if you actually listen to it in the first place, to be fair. I've been talking on my podcast for the last God knows how long, six months about about using ChatGPT in medical school education. I wrote a blog post on this on Medium and I also recorded a TikTok which went viral and I thought, you know what, I might as well just rinse that idea again and create a whole YouTube video on it. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a like and a comment just so I know that you're listening to my videos and I'm not talking to myself. So since first year at uni, which was like 2019, I was trying to be perfect at med school. And this is something I talk about a lot on my podcast. Us medics, we're just taught to be perfect. Like we have to get perfect grades. We have to have perfect attendance. So at med school for the first couple of years, I was trying to make perfect notes from lectures. I was trying to make perfect flashcards. I was trying to get the best mark possible in past med, doing as many questions as possible. This was all whilst juggling, trying to socialize, going to the gym, stuff like that. And it's just stupidly unrealistic. And what I realized since OpenAI released ChatGPT, we shouldn't strive to be perfect when we have now a AI model that can be our perfect assistant for us. Over the last year, I've basically been perfecting these AI prompts that I've been using in med school to 10X my productivity so that it just frees up some of my time so I can do the podcast, I can go to the gym when I want, stuff like that. So I thought, you know what? I'm feeling very generous and I might as well share it with you guys too. So I thought I might as well explain a little bit about what ChatGPT is and what an AI prompt is before getting into the actual prompt prompts just so you can have a better idea of why it's important to craft a good prompt. Unless you've been living under a rock, you know that OpenAI released ChatGPT and it's basically an AI chatbot that is trained to converse in a human-like manner. And when I say human-like, it is honestly sometimes scary. I was thinking of some analogies to better explain what ChatGPT is and why it's important to be able to craft a good prompt. In my all of one minute of brainstorming, I came up with so think of the AI model like a five-star Michelin chef who can literally cook anything, limitless recipes under its belt, and tons and tons of years of experience. And so this chef can cook anything you want. You just need to tell the chef what you want. So this is the AI model. So two customers come in. The first one just asks the chef, can you cook me something Italian? So the chef goes away, cooks something Italian for this person, gives it to the person, and they don't like it. It's not to their taste. Person two comes along and is very specific and asks the chef, can I have a vegetarian pizza, thin base, stuffed crust with peppers, mushrooms, no onions, and the chef goes away, creates exactly that, and the customer loves it. The difference between the two customers is obviously one gave a very specific instruction on what they would like and the other didn't. So you can think of an AI prompt kind of like that. So to get your desired outcome and so that you're happy with what the answer ChatGPT gives you, you need to craft a very specific and very detailed prompt, otherwise you're gonna get generic rubbish. For the first prompt, I thought we might as well start off with generating flashcards pretty much because every medical student will have made a flashcard at some point in their med school career. <laughs> so every med student would have used, at least used Anki or Quizlet to make flashcards and every med student will know how annoyingly long it takes to make flashcards, like stupidly long. If you're anything like me, I have such a complex about creating perfect flashcards because I get worried that if my flashcards aren't perfect and I miss something out, then that thing that I've specifically missed out is just going to come up in the exam. So I realized you can just get AI to make the flashcards for you. You can save your time and you're still going to get the benefits of space repetition of active recall. But instead, you're just getting AI to make the flashcards for you, saving that bit of time and then going over the flashcards after and learning them after. So what you're going to want to do is go to my blog post on Medium. So it's going to be in the link in the description and click on it, scroll all the way down and go to generating flashcards. Then you can copy and paste that prompt, paste it into ChatGPT 
and then there's a section which says insert condition. I'll give you a little demo now. So basically all I'm doing is just copy and pasting the prompt from my Medium blog into ChatGPT and now I'm putting in the condition. So I'm typing, let's say cardiovascular disease and I'm gonna paste the prompt and here we go. It gives me 50 Anki style question and answer flashcards, which then I can just use for my revision. Just thank me later. So the second way is you can get ChatGPT to generate you some exam style questions. So on my mission to be perfect at med school, I would do as many questions as possible. I would try to get the best mark I possibly could on past med and I'd max out all the questions on past med and then I'd have to pay for another question bank like QuizMed. And I realized that's just stupid, honestly. Like why am I paying so much for two subscription banks at once when I can just get ChatGPT to write me exam style questions? You just need to know how to prompt it. So same again. Go to my Medium blog, then copy and paste the prompt where it says exam style questions. And I've basically written out the prompt. So it's going to be in the exact single best answer format that you get in medical school exams. So insert the condition that you want. You can customize a prompt to say that I want the difficulty to be high, low or medium. And there you have it. You have an unlimited bank of questions. All you need to do is just input the exact topic you want the questions on and ChatGPT will do it for you. There you go. So the third way you can use ChatGPT in med school is by generating patient cases. So I would get so annoyed going onto the wards and just not finding a patient with a specific condition that we were on that week. So I created this prompt so that ChatGPT could act as a virtual patient for you, presenting with that certain condition. You can take notes from it. And so I need to give this quick disclaimer, make sure you're not passing off these ChatGPT cases as your cases for your supervisor to get signed off for your DOPS because the GMC don't like that. Make sure you're still going into the wards, make sure you're still chatting to real patients, but if you can't find a patient, then use this prompt. Same again, going onto my blog post, scrolling down, going to generating patient cases, and I'm copying and pasting this long ass prompt that took me ages to write, and putting that into ChatGPT. Let's say for this condition, I want a patient presenting with ankylosing spondylitis. Click enter, look at that. There you go. I have just saved you countless hours on the ward. It was Alvin Toffler that said the illiterate of the 21st century won't be those that can't read and write, but it will be those that can't learn, unlearn, and then relearn. I want you guys to relearn the way that you've been taught to study at med school and not to strive for perfection anymore. Let's try and break this narrative as we look towards healthcare beyond tomorrow. So thank you so much guys for listening. If you found this useful, then make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a like rating and check out my podcast episodes. So hopefully here's to the first of many YouTube videos.